And Diana Temple, if you would like to share your work, thank you so much for joining us. Diana Temple, Tilting, Black and White Digital Archival Print, 16 inches by 20 inches, 2019. A black and white image of a power chair base sits on a dark hardwood floor. The top of the chair blurs in a half circle as it tilts back and forth above the base. In the background is a dark figure on the left and kitchen counters on the right. My work is called Wheelchair Tornadoes, and it's about the perception of disability, specifically photography, and how um, it's kind of it's kind of a reaction to how it's been viewed throughout history. And so I take photographs of my friend Matt Ebert in his power wheelchair um, with movement and these spinning um, spinning motions. And it is to kind of resist this traditional documentary style of photography. I'm originally from Ohio. I'm both an occupational therapist and an artist. So I've worked with people with disabilities doing like environmental modifications and helping people with ordering wheelchairs and things like that. But I'm really interested in um, advocacy and the idea of the social model of disability. So I grew up with um, my older sister um, with a disability. So I grew up with disability being normal to me and part of my community. Doing stuff with her, being her caregiver, um, really opened my eyes to like the world and the discrimination that she, um, she just experienced. So um, it, it affected me enough to be an artist and to react to it. But I just wanna say like my work is not about the disabled experience. It's more about the history of photography and really that perception. It, it is about the inspiration porn and like how um, these images are trying to resist that. I looked at the history of the freak show and history of medical photography and um, the freak show oppressed people like in the way that they took advantage of people, but it also, the pictures were empowering um, in how they displayed disability. But when the medical model came along, doctors and uh, viewed the disabled body as something private and something that shouldn't be seen. And inspiration porn is kind of like a reaction to those two things um, throughout history. So I use a four by five view camera so that's the one that has the dark cloth over your head. So all of these are done with um, black and white four by five. And I use that camera specifically um, because I wanted to use that long exposure to kind of fight those ideas of the medical model and not dissecting the body, but recording motion, like a portrait of someone with a disability in the medical model, like images, um, isn't necessarily revered. It's it's to be looked at, to be studied. And so this, the images are meant to be um, something you can't hold on to, um, to kind of resist that. And then um, the motion and all of that is also too about the experience of um, just hanging out with my friend, Matt, taking pictures and that collaboration between like what he could give to the photographs and then what um, is like my responsibility as the photographer. I'm going to just share that image. Incredibly powerful images. Thank and you. Anthony and I have been blown away by your work. Thank you so much. <laughs> How has it been working with your friend Matt? Oh, it's been it's been fantastic. Um, I didn't actually know him very well when I started the project, and uh, we became really close. Now we live like a few states away. He's in Missouri, and I'm in Ohio, but. Um, where we became really close friends through this project. <laughs> really wonderful, striking work. And thank you so much for enjoying, for sharing it with us. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to be a part of this.